3D printing. New technology, but an old problem. Lots of entrants, high valuations, and investors desperate to get, almost literally in this case, an edge. So, if you want to get a piece of this action, what are the pitfalls and what should you be looking for? Over the last couple of years, the asset valuations in the 3D printing space have more than doubled, giving us a reason to sit and think about um, why it is that the businesses are performing the way that they are and why the stock market has reacted the way that they have. Over the past couple of years, we have a very textbook example of uh, what happens when you have uh, the meeting of strong business fundamentals um, as well as um, a compelling strong growth story and then a, an investor base that's just hungry for uh, growth. On the business fundamentals side, uh, we see the, the 3D printing space uh, serving a need from the manufacturing community for rapid prototyping, as well as uh, a way to supplement traditional manufacturing techniques, being able to use additive manufacturing uh, to supplement traditional uh, manufacturing techniques. On the growth side, we've seen uh, the companies uh, being able to saturate a market that wasn't really existing before um, and giving us a good reason to think about uh, the, the potential opportunity for new applications and new designs in the space. That said, when we think about where the investment opportunities are right now, investors are left with uh, you know, having to pick between um, businesses that have uh, now deteriorating business fundamentals but then lofty valuations. And that's a task that we would rather stay away from if we had a choice.